Elizabeth Whites has Alzheimer's. Eight years ago, her son Kurt moved into his mother's house to care for her. It's very nice. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. You know, automatic washer's a great thing. Kurt, I drink my tea. But you gotta keep track of it. <laughs> <coughs> have some muffin, dear. Come on. I have some muffin. I have a muffin. Right now, mother has congestive heart failure, she has Alzheimer's dementia, she is incontinent, and uh, she also is now developing sores on her legs due to poor blood, poor blood circulation. So we have all of these things to contend with, and it's a never-ending stream, I find. You want to go home? Yeah. Honey bun, I got news for you. You are home. Kurt lost his job in technical sales for a paint company four years ago because of downsizing. He and Elizabeth now get by on his savings and her old age pension. I can't tell so much for me. Just eat it, darling. Just eat it. I had the coffee. I have only one sister who lives in Vancouver who's married with children. She's got her hands full. But because I am single, I can devote the attention to my mom. You know, I never realized, you know, all my life the meals appeared on the table and I never gave a second thought as to how much work it took. Now I realize how much work there is to running a house, raising a family. Believe me, all the mothers who have families to look after and have to do all the shopping and cleaning, I'd rather have a man's job any day. Being, being a housewife is hard work. It's hard work. I find it hard. Maybe it's because I don't understand, you know, all the things I have to do. I'm going to learn you shopping. You're going to learn me shopping. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I tend to I, buy too much I, stuff. We've got to throw it all out. I, all right. I buy way too much stuff. We've yeah. got to throw it out. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else do we need. We're going to get some cake now, okay? You want some carrot cake? No carrot cake. So now I'm going to put your makeup on. My mother likes to have her makeup on before she goes out. Just open your mouth a bit. Five years ago, Rose Fergus suffered a stroke which impaired her speech and left her unable to walk. Now come. OK. Open your mouth. No, open your mouth. Ma, open your mouth so I can get the lipstick off your teeth. You don't want to go out with lipstick on your teeth. Yuck. OK? Yeah. OK. OK, hold my shoulder. Madeline, who is single, okay. took early retirement okay. from a clerical job to care for her mother. Okay. They share a condominium and live on two small pensions. Okay, hon. Just here. Let me bring it round just a wee bit more. Well, why did he do that? Okay. Got it? There. Okay? Yeah. Oh, now. All right. Goodbye. Oh, Good girl. Okay. It's a very hard thing when you see people you love, and especially when you know they've been bright, affable people, you know, outgoing, friendly, and intelligent. And then all of a sudden, you see, it's, it's like a disappearing of someone you love. I miss our chats, and um, I get a little emotional, but this, this is the part. Just a minute. <laughs> it's difficult for me.
Um, but but I think it, it, it happens to everybody, and I think sometimes it's a lot worse for others than some, you know. They cancel my bath next week. We only get one bath next week. One you get next week? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because mm -hmm. Monday's holiday. Monday's a holiday. Oh, so Monday. then... Boy, yeah. Yesterday, Good Mother had a bowel movement. Thing. She was covered all over. Oh, it was horrible. Yesterday was what? Um, oh, yesterday was uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, I don't know, boy. And this morning she had a big movement already, so mm, I cleaned okay. her up, but uh, it's... Mm -hmm. Okay, let me set the water. Oh, I'll put the water in okay. for you. Sure. I never see a rush like that. It drives her crazy. <laughs> Let's get cracking. Hi, my dear. Hold on to me. We're going upstairs. I'm going oh. to give you a bath. I don't need any. It's all right. No. That's okay. I had a bath last night. You did? Yeah. Well, I would like to give you another one. No. How about that? Hold on to me. Whatever. Okay. Upstairs. Then where are we going? Upstairs. We're going to have a bath. Upstairs. Mm -hmm. Upstairs. Yes. You're coming upstairs. I'm all done. Okay. I'm all I'm not going. No, I'm not going. You go upstairs. You need a bath. No. You need to be cleaned up. You go upstairs and have a bath. Go on. Right. Thanks, my son. Okay. That's fine. I hold. Here then. Yes, it's so long. Hmm? That's a long stay away. I know, it's a long one for yes. you. Good. Good. Stay there. Stay there. He's going to wander. Excuse me. What are you doing? The toughest part is finding a minute to yourself. She's constantly calling. Like often during the night, you know, she'll call and, and you have to get up and check. And when she calls, she can't tell you what's wrong. So if she calls, it's either her diaper's full or she's hungry or something's wrong and you have to go and check and find out what is wrong. Often you have to get up three, four, five times in the middle of the night. And you're, come morning, you're tired, you know. <laughs> you're, you just, you know, say, oh my God, we have another day of this to go through. It's very draining, it's very hard on you. I have great sympathy from, for, for any caregivers. And all I really want, I mean, I'm doing everything, I'm saving the government a lot of money, and people like me are doing the same thing. But what you want occasionally is a break. And I'm not speaking just for myself, there's all kinds of stories out there. And this is your vitamin pill to get you pregnant. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Now swallow. Good. Okay. I had wonderful parents. Really good. My mother, she has worked since she was 13. She's worked hard, but she was a good wife, good mother, good housekeeper. I try not to do a wash every day, but sometimes you have no choice because uh, things have to be to be washed, right? Redford, you got to move your bum. Redford, move. Redford. See how everybody listens to me? <laughs> so. Mm. I do sometimes get, I think it's more annoying, it's frustration because I can't get through. But you have to deal with it because it's very easy to say things to hurt someone. And um, like my mama gets angry. Oh, she gets angry about me and she calls me all sorts of things. But I say, oh yeah, I'm an old girl and she calls me an old girl. And I say, <laughs> but she's got me as mom. I'm matched. I'm that lady. I'm that old crow. I'm that old bitch. Well, I really read read my mother the riot act the other day. I'll tell you, I was just getting fed up. Oh. What what happened? Oh, oh, just <laughs> she's controlling me day and night. You know. What the hell? You know, you can only take so much. 
just explode. Be careful, doggy. The doctor wrote down on the piece of paper, Alzheimer's dementia. It's amazing, this illness, I would say there are times that they phase in and then they phase out. At times, my mother is just impossible. And at other times, she comes out with comments that I feel she's like my old mom. One day, uh, she looked at me and she said, son, you have an unhappy look on your face. What's wrong? Well, to me, that's a very valuable observation, you know, uh, and I appreciated her saying that. You're okay, sweetie. You're all right there. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. Uh. Up until about three or four months ago, I was doing, we were doing fine. Then all of a sudden, Mom got sick, and she, she had an ear infection. We got cleared, and then she got a bladder infection, then she got a lung infection. And so it's been one thing after another, and of course, it's weakened her, too. She's 85 years old. I mean, she's not 21, where you have more. She's a strong lady, thank God, and she fights back. But now she's tired. She's told me, I'm very tired. Twice a week now I get help, and it's a big help. And at least it gives me a couple of days where I don't have to do it all by myself. And it goes so much faster. You don't realize as you start out as a caregiver what's involved. You've got to verbalize it, say, look, I need help. And so when I realized that I needed more than what I was asking for, I got on the phone. And then they came out and did another assessment. And then she gave me more uh, hours. And now she's uh, sending in these other people that I need. And that's very important. But you also must let them know you need it. And if they don't give it to you, why? What is the reason? OK, I'll go. All right. I'm just going to check your, your Actually, we can oh, better down. Oh, yeah. OK, honey. I'm just going to check her back. Okay. No um, cough. She's improved oh. a lot. She has phlegm, but she can't seem to get it up like she oh. used to. Okay. Just one minute. This is one thing that you'll have to watch out for more that she, that she is in bed is yes, uh, pneumonia. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Any fever, any green phlegm, anything like oh, that. Oh, that's a warning? Warning. Oh, wait. Call Thank the doctor. You. Green okay. phlegm, yellow phlegm. Oh, okay. call the doctor. Okay. We'll see how it goes. She might rally, she might feel better. Now that's hopeful thinking, but I don't want a nursing home, and I especially don't want a nursing home now uh, when they have cut Here's so much. Right I'd be nervous. Okay. Okay. Your thyroid pill, okay? No, I know. Look, wait, look what's coming. Mmm. Good? Hey? Oh, great. Good. Doris and Tom Homewood have been married 54 years. They live in a mobile home on their daughter's farm. Ten years ago, a stroke left Tom unable to walk or speak. He also suffers from hepatitis C, contracted through tainted blood. There. Okay. There. Okay. It's just like looking after a person in the hospital almost, you know, but then he's home and he likes it here. I can't even think of hospitals with him. So as long as you can keep getting more care to help Yeah, you. if I can get more care here, then he'll stay here, yes. If it gets to the point where he's in bed, then I'd bring his bed out there where the TV is, and, and he could stay in that, and that's what I want. If 
I can handle it. Yeah. And I think I'm going to be able to try anyway. 1942, we were married, yeah. Well, I guess it was good looking. He was a nice looking fellow, yeah. I guess I just liked him. He was the secretary manager of the Toronto Auto Dealers and was instrumental in starting the first car show. But he was always an artist. Every weekend, he'd go out painting. That was his whole life to do that. You want your drawing out here? Oh, your garbage pail? Here it is. Is that what you want? Oh, we want your TV. Oh, yeah, it's your own one, all right. He has been a good husband, and for him to have this happen to him is terrible. I'd rather that he went before me. That's the way I look at it, I guess. Mm. Not because I would be free to do things, just because I'd know that he was looked after right. Yeah. You know? Because so I know I do look after him right. There you are. You like that? Oh. Oh, are you getting tired? Oh, there. Isn't that nice? That's good. Is that good? Yeah. You like that? That is nice and cool. Is it nice and cool? Yeah. Pat Tucker retired from nursing oh, yeah. 10 years ago after oh, her drink. mother broke her hip. A little bit more water. Pat and her okay. husband Lloyd now provide round the clock That's care all. for Molly, who is 95. There she is going down. And just take a wee drink, love. That's it, girl. Whoops. Look up your nose. <laughs> up your nose and do your throat, McQueen. You did you, 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 you. I guess I did, didn't I? I guess you did. I told you I didn't want no more water. Oh, but I want you to have some more water. I don't want any more. No more? No. Oh, okay. You've done pretty well. Are you getting tired? No, I'm not getting tired. I'm just getting water. You're, get, you're just getting water, right? Lloyd, I think we better lay her down. She's getting sleepy and a little bit. It's satisfied. <laughs> okay, love. Uh, One, two, three. Okay, Pat, you're okay, sweetheart. Uh, Put that pillow under her head. <laughs> it's not an easy thing. It plays havoc with your family life and, and, and your home life. It's probably uh, taking away from what my husband and I okay, could just sit down and enjoy whenever we want. But I happen to have a very good husband and a very understanding husband. And uh, although there's days we could both pull our hair out, um, I would have done the same for his mom, too. Granny, roll over to, to Lloyd for a minute, sweetheart. That's it, girl. Oh, You're okay, pet. She's going to face the dresser. You've got to turn these old souls. You can't just leave them because um, if you leave them, they're going to get pressure points and they're going to end up with horrendous bed sores and you're going to be laying wet. And um, you, you just can't leave a person like that. They have to be regularly turned roughly. We try to do it every four hours. My back kills me, my arms kill me, uh, just from the moving and the lifting. Um, t to be on your own and do it, uh, I used to be able to do mum on my own when she was more able to help me in what I had to do with her. She could push up the bed or she could roll over for me. These are things she can't do now. So I need the help. But to be on your own and do it, and I know there's people that are because I've read about it, and I frankly, I don't know how they're managing. Okay. Here we are. Come on. 
I know. Oh, put the chair up, Tom. Put it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's better. See? That is better. Right over. There. That was better. Okay. Turn around, Turn around a bit. There you are. Okay. Then just put your feet over here about like this. Now, you're going to lay down first. Come on. You know, put your feet up. Okay, all right. There you are. <coughs> go over a bit more, Tom, if you can. Lift your bottom up and go over a little bit more. Come on. Can't you lift yourself over here a bit more? No, look. Tom, this way. Lift your, your behind over. Come on. Lift up like this. Come on. That's right. Another time. Just turn it up. One more time. Come on. That's better. There you are. Okay. There. Okay. Good night, dear. I can't leave him any longer than an hour by himself in case something goes wrong. I go out maybe to get a paper or go into the store for an hour or so. That's about it, though. Where Mom's concerned, right now, it's more a case of for somebody to come in and just granny sit because she she's all done and everything in the morning so that by the time uh, Trofina gets here, uh, I can just go. Hi there. Could I get more of the drinks for Mr. Holwood? Okay. What I can do is I can give you, if you'd like, 12 of the chocolate, and then I can give you six of the vanilla and six that of the strawberry. That would be great. Okay, I'll yep. just get a bag. Okay, first. that'd be great. Can I make it before that trip, do you think? Yeah, I think I can. There we are. My kids don't think I'm a good driver, but I taught them all how to drive, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay, that could all go on the bottom here, under the under the potatoes. We're just two totally different personalities, opposites totally. And where I'll let fly at whoever happens to be handy, that's just my way of coping and getting rid. Where Lloyd's the opposite, he'll bottle it up. We're very different. I'm sure there's days he could gladly choke well, me, but he's too nice a guy to say it. Probably vice versa, too, but it's a situation... Oh, yeah, but when you bug me, I tell you. Yeah, it's a situation we're in, and we have to make the, the best of it. It's been hard on Lloyd, I know that. Do you ever feel resentful at all about the situation you're in? Oh, I feel sorry for myself, yes. Yeah? Yes, yeah, I do very much sometimes. Yeah, still do. No, I think it's just the company, you know, to have nobody pretty well to socialize with. I thought it would be easier for him if I helped him yeah. a little bit. To see yeah, well, sometimes he gets like that. Most of the time he's very good with somebody helping him. There okay, you are. Tom. Okay, sit down now, Tom. You're okay. The services I'm getting are great. There. They come on Tuesday and Friday to give them a shower. Self-cleaning, oh, turn it down. A side-by-side -side refrigerator and mega capacity laundry pair from Admiral. And for better tasting water, the new water treatment system. I'm going to turn it off if you don't turn it down. The beetle goes here. Uh -huh. And the spider can... Yeah, I can only tell so much. And our lizard... Now it's on. What channel was that you hit on? Don't know. I don't know either. 
I'm going to give you a chance to win four discards and four prizes, the first of which um, is one. You, you can well, hear it like that. Look, Look Granite, don't stone, forget your pill, okay? Okay, okay. I'll, I'll see you Friday. Ah, oh, that'll be Plastic nice, coat. okay. Hey, Tom, that is we're trying to put you in the shower, okay? <laughs> that doesn't like me. <laughs> okay? All right. Okay, okay that was me. nice, Sonia. Thank okay. you very much. You're right. Bye. Bye. When you're with this every day, you just don't have that get up and bounce that, you know, uh, and I think basically we're homebodies anyway, like I, I always have been. Uh, but to just to get out and just do something, um, you don't always just feel like it. You just want to crunch down and, and um, some people find that hard to understand. I tripped on a board and that's how I fell and hurt my arm. No, you've been getting this extra help in, like... Yeah, uh, that's what my daughter says. Maybe I should, like I said to the doctor, gee, I said I've had so much help coming in here, maybe I shouldn't get this off yet. Keep it for a year or two. Yeah, no, keep it for six weeks. They said five to six weeks. Okay, you're all going to get your head. Ooh. I don't think I'd want to do that work. Would you? No. No, I don't think I'd want that. Well, you're sort of doing it now. <laughs> I guess that's why I wouldn't want it permanently then. You're right. Yeah. Oh, it's right too. I do remember though years and years and years ago when I was just a kid and we were poor as church mouse. My mother got me a job with an older woman down the street because she needed help. I think I went one day. Yeah. I did. She was a crabby old person. She wanted me to put her socks on. I said to my mother, I'm not going there anymore. I always remember that, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and now here I am putting socks on. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. I can see that she's she's certainly on the way down, and, and um, I see a big change in her. She's feisty. She's she's um, she'll fight to hang on. I mean, she's um, she's always had that quality about her, and her genes are so good. But it's it's heartbreaking to see her like this. I Quiet down, sweetheart. That's a girl. Can you see you, Daddy? Yes, sweetheart. Can you see you, Daddy? Grandma, Grandma, I want you to just close your eyes, sweetheart, and have a wee snooze, or you're not going to wake up in time for supper. Oh, my God, Daddy. She's not going in the night hospital as long as I can look after her. She's been in bed three years this past Daddy. January. Daddy. And um, she has no bed sores. Daddy. I'd never be able to go to bed at night if she was in the hospital. I, I want her dry, I want her turned, I want her looked after, and the way things are now, they don't have time for people like Mom. They just don't. Close your eyes, darling. I love you. Here he comes. Mm -hmm. You close your eyes, then have a wee sleep. Here he comes. Yes, Mom, close your eyes, sweetheart. Close your eyes. Oh. Just go to sleep, sweetie pie. So I figured this was another stroke because I couldn't get anything out of him or anything. So I phoned 911 
They ruled out that it wasn't a stroke. It was pneumonia. Now, you've had to go down and essentially feed him the me his meals, eh? Well, they like it if I go down, yeah, except breakfast. And uh, they like it if I go, yeah, because they don't have time. They just sit the tray there, and he's not going to eat it. So if he doesn't eat it, he doesn't... That's right. They might come in and spoon something into him. I don't know. But to make sure he gets it, I should go in. Well, I was late coming. I have... <laughs> You're all right, Tom. I can't come all the time. There, I think we'll quit now with that. Just about finished it, Tom, and you can have the drink. Here you are, Tom. Have a drink of this. Come on, there. As an only child, Paul Oliver has taken on the responsibility of looking after his mother. Jean suffers from Alzheimer's. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Hmm? Shh. You're okay. I don't know where I am. Yes, you do. Give me a kiss. You're looking good. Huh? Hey? <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, watch yourself. I want you... to get my son. I'm here. I'm here. Don't you recognize me? Look. Look at me good. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. That's me, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Give me a kiss. Huh? Don't let him take me away. No, no. Hi, Doris. Hi, do. How you doing? I do. I do. I know you do. <laughs> Are you going to do it? Later. Later, okay? Yeah. Do you want to go out for a walk, Mom? Paul had to place his mother in a nursing home two years ago when Jean required constant care. It was hard for me to do that, and the hardest part was when she um, actually left her apartment after 25 years living in the same apartment. It was hard for me to do that, to, to take her. Paul Oliver is married and has no children. He works for Kodak Canada in shipping and receiving, and twice a week makes the one-hour drive to visit his mother. Through the week, I'm usually there, like, after work, maybe four hours at the most. And uh, on the weekend, I, I'm there anywhere from four hours to six hours, maybe. Here, come on. Take a wee bit of water to wash that down. Well. She had some, you know, super... Oh, those are bruises? Well, from banging her arm, you know, yeah, just just skin keeps... that's burst, that's all. Yeah, uh, that keeps on happening to yeah. her, yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, it's, it's okay. Yeah? It's gonna go away. It's oh. just superficial. Okay. Yeah, the dressing will change. Okay. Thanks very much. You're welcome. They got 28 people on the floor that have Alzheimer's or some type of dementia, and there's no way that you can have... 24-hour surveillance of what's going on with each individual person. So, 
you know, they stumble, they, they trip over or fall into somebody and hurt themselves. I have fear of that and my mom really uh, breaking a hip. Boy, oh boy, how'd you, what'd you do, fall on it? No. No? You bang it up against the wall? She bit it. She bit it. <laughs> no. I'll go down there. Well, are you going to get me something to eat? I already did, Mom. I got you ice cream and cookies. I've never had a decent meal since you've come. That's not true. Just so true. I could bring the man who told me to. Well, he, he's just the same. Oh, shut up. What the hell do you know? Well, you kiss my ass. I don't want none of this. Well, good. Well, she's locking the door, Mamie. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> And does she stand there? Yeah, she's just, that's just the mood she's in. She can't help it, maybe. Okay, well say she can't help it. No, she can't. Well, what does she do when she can? Well, that's something else. She's not like that all the time. Well, that's, that's the yeah. better answer. Yeah. She's not like that all the time. Should we go outside and see if she's there? Just as you like. Yeah, okay. Come on. You coming? Are you coming out, Mom? No, you. Okay, well, I'm going outside. So am I. What the hell do you have to go for? He asked me if I would. He never did ask you. It is trying sometimes. Sometimes she's not in a very good mood, and sometimes she doesn't want to go out for a walk, and sometimes she doesn't want to eat. Um, well, in that case, um, I usually sit and talk to some of the other residents and, you know, communicate with them. Uh, some of them communicate a lot better than, than my mom does, even with me, because they're not as far along. Um, but, like I said before, I'd like to spend more time there, but I don't know if, if I could take it. Yeah. Now, who's this? Oh, well, that's me. No, no. Who, Look closely. Who, who that who's is? that tall man there? Who's Trudy. that? Who's that tall one? Trudy. That's Trudy and you and me. Yeah. What are you doing with them pictures? They're for you. Jeez, I've got a bite someplace. You got a bite? You mean you got a itch? Jesus, itchy. Now get your get your head up a bit and look in the mirror there. Oh my God, what a sight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I look as if I lost my last sheep. No. Is that better now? Yeah. That I'm scratching? Yeah. Now how about some of these other pictures here that we put up? Look at that. That one there. That's me. Yeah. In the red sweater. That was your 80th birthday. Oh. Yeah. 80th. 80th. My God. Well, you're 81 now. Am I? Mm-hmm. If I can make her laugh and make whatever length of time she has left enjoyable, then I try and make her remember who I am. But uh, I guess me, she'll never forget the face, but the name, I think that's coming, which is sad, but. Sorry. I'm afraid I won't be able to glue them. Yes, you will. My teeth are full. No. <laughs> Come on, I want for you to make a wish. Make a wish. Take a deep breath and, and blow, blow them out. out your candles. And blow out the candles, Mom. <laughs> Woo! Oh. One more. Oh! Okay, this is the cake for Jean. Okay, 
Can you all see? Remember, hey, don't tell anybody what you wished, huh? No. No. We haven't yeah. met too often, have we? No. But we will in the future. <laughs> Dorothy lives right next door to you, Mom. Oh, do I? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll come over and see you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay? Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought she lived down the No, she lives right around the corner from you. Oh. The next door. I love my mom very dearly, and it's her birthday today. Good. You want a kiss for me? <laughs> Pretty good, eh? Hey? You can still puck her up, can't you? Hmm? Yeah. You can still dance, too. You can still dance, too. We would all do it over again because there's nothing could replace the the joy and the the laughter and the the happiness that to see that we so smile her face light up and, uh, you can't buy things like that that's uh, it's my old in scotland says Memories last longer than dreams, so that's true. So we're left with a pile of, of very rich and wonderful memories that I wouldn't trade for anything. Another six months would have been great. Then again, even a couple of months could have been much worse. It could have been much worse for me, too. Whether I could have hung on with him being in that bed and maybe not even... He could have even gone into a coma or something, you know, and that would have been worse. So when I look at it that way, like, yeah, you're right. When I look at it that way, then I sometimes think, oh, maybe it was right that he went when he did. I hate to say it, but uh, the relief off my shoulders is just tremendous. I, I, I really, I feel like a free person, and I haven't felt like that for a long time. God. Uh, and uh, I'm just sort of making my way out of the muddle. I think rather than sitting at home and moping around, I would like to go to work. The stimulation of the workplace is, is good, you know. It's a wonderful feeling to know you can help your loved ones, but it is difficult. And I wouldn't like anyone to think it isn't. It's, it's a hard job. But it's, um, I feel good. It's, it's that I was able to do it. Yeah, I feel good about that.